Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the biggest and baddest travel trailer toy haulers on the market today. This is a 2021 Grand Design Momentum Model 30G. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tovals. It's World's Only Channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at this awesome grand design momentum. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Going good. I'm excited to take a look at this too. It's always nice seeing a travel trailer toy hauler they're not as common yes and yeah this is one of the biggest and baddest but just keep in mind that doesn't always make it the best you got to factor in price to it and this is going to be a little on the high side it sure is but it's going to be high and nice that's right well let's begin model is brand design momentum 30g the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 34 feet 11 inches the dry weight is 9,000. 124 pounds and will the hitch weight 1350 pounds always remember it's you want to get weight distribution bars and this is so heavy that you know most 150s can't tell this you're going to want a three-quarter ton truck right here we do have a lipper component power tongue jack very nice propane tanks go there and batteries go there and then look at this well this is a beautiful molded fiberglass front cap it is painted, so it's not gonna fade. You have your LED lights and everything. And this is just, the profile of this is just big and tall. It is. And it's huge. Coming on down the side here, look at this storage. Okay, kinda interesting. Yeah. I definitely thought it would be bigger, but it is taller, you know. Coming on down the side here, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Very interesting. Oh, right down here we have power, and it's going to be a coax. If you do want to watch TV on the outside, aluminum fold up steps. You know how we feel about them. We will address them a little later. And we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Will, let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. All right. Oh, you ready? Yep. Wow, that was pretty neat. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Nice power awning with the LED lights right there. Coming on down the side here, look at these nice big windows. I love that. Big windows, speakers on the outside, and um, you know what I'm not seeing, Will? All weather package? Yeah, does it have it? You would think. It has to. It is an enclosed underbelly. There is no sticker, but I would imagine that it is. Right. You know, before you buy this, make sure you check with uh, General RV employee. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear and Bearings. I love those. ST235-80R16. And we do have our Dexter axle axles right there. And it is prepped for the tire monitoring system. I love that. Coming on down the side here, look at this. We got the lipper component weatherproof ramp door. Love that. Uh, you do have a Thule awning above the ramp door. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera and will. Let's take a look at this ramp door when it's all the way down. All right. Very nice. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. What's the matter? Just caught. There you go. Very nice. We're going to show you how easy it is to set this up. Bam. Just like that. Can you get that pin for me, sir? Yep. Damn. 
Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Am I doing it wrong, Will? Um, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Well, why is it not? Nope. Something like that. Perfect. There you go. Very nice, easy to set up. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Nice, easy to set up. Nice ramp door. And this is a great size ramp door, especially for a travel trailer toy hauler. Very nice. No steps, right? I don't. I doubt it. Yeah, I don't think so. This. Very nice. Coming around the back, we do have your emergency fuel center. Right, this is going to be a fuel pump to help fuel up your toys. And then we do have a side ladder to get up on the one-piece TPO roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right. We're going to go now. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Wow, Will, not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Nice. Right there is your WineGuard digital antenna, and it already has a solar panel for the roof. Oh, I hate these ladders. Do you? Here we go now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Maybe Josh from Halo RV every once in a while. <laughs> He's a good guy. Cool. Will, coming on down. Right there, that's where you put your sewer hose. What's that underneath there? This? Is that a generator? Oh no, that's the fuel. Yeah, that's the fuel. 50 amp service is where it is here. Right here, you got your water heater. This is your black and gray tank dump station. Oh, but it does have a generator. Yeah, America. Right here's your wet bay. I love this. Very clean battery disconnect, black and gray tank dump, potable water fill, potable, potable. And a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. <clears throat> and Will. Yeah? The outside of this travel trailer toy haul looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. All right, we'll start up front here. You have the bedroom. Yes, on a slide out. On a slide out. Bathroom right here, double doors there. Got the kitchen dining area here. And then your living area slash garage back here. Great, and well, before we begin, I want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor, My Waggle. My Waggle is an RV digital thermostat monitor that monitors the humidity, the temperature, and the power in your RV. So if you have pets, you're gonna want a My Waggle because you can't always bring them where you go when you're camping, so you leave them in the camper. This will notify, notify you via text message or email if you lose power, if it gets too hot or cold, or if it gets too humid, to let you know to either A, call the campground so somebody can save your dog, or B, dinner time's over and we gotta go back to the camper to save your dog. So it's the best way to protect your pets and, uh, and we partnered with them to help give you a phenomenal deal. So if you have pets and you want a My Waggle, use our link below for an exclusive discount and uh, get a My Waggle. That's right. Thanks y'all. Will, let's start back here. Okay. You guys already see me with the patio down. This is a very nice feature. We have this patio, it's down, it's extended. Maximum capacity in the ramp position is 3,000 pounds, and while it's like this, is 1,000 pounds, so that's good to know. And again, you have your LED lights and power awning there. Look at these nice D rings, okay? And then look at these seats. Look, these are nice. They're momentum, that's the momentum logo. Very nice, and then check this out. All you do is drop it like this and like that, and it makes a bed. 
not only that, it's an adult size bed. Well, lay on this bed, sir. Okay. I mean, look at this. You know, the reality is there's more corn fed Americas that Americans than not. <laughs> You know, and then look at this. So obviously we would have yeah. that middle support down. Yeah. But look at that. Will is six foot three and he still has plenty of head height. Very nice. And then when he's all done, he flips that up. So, Boom. Entertainment time or dinner time. There is a table that can come with it right there. And uh, it's very nice, which is very unique. Because you wouldn't even need this as a table because there's a table right there. Right. Okay, very cool. Then we do have another bunk over the cab right here, and this does drop down. A pain in the butt in the toy hauler. These would have to come up first before we drop them down, but it's just the bed. And what it would do, it would stop right here, okay? See that right there? It would stop right there, so you can set this up as a bunk bed situation, which is very cool. Over here in the living room, you do have your, I love these, these are like little recliner chair toy yeah. holders. They're movable, so you can take them outside with you. Oh, and this is nice. You have a little table right mm, here that, that nice. does come out as well. And then over here, we have another seat. What's nice about this seat is when you do have a toy hold. So this is slide out right here. Right. Okay? And so when you go like this, you can then flip it up out of the way which is a really nice feature, especially if you're bringing toys with you. So it's a couch, a bed, or out of the way. Yep. <laughs> or a garage. We have these nice LED lights right here. And then good cabinetry above. Well, well, do you know what time it is? Time. It's now time. For the MSRP? Well, we gotta say it together. Let's okay. Try. You ready? Well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Let us know if you guys like that. <laughs> I just think of things just out of the blue. Right. MSRP. Pricey. On this uh, momentum here is $63,045 MSRP. Sale price, as you can see there, we don't currently have a sale price because it's a current model year and because it's a grand design and grand design won't let us show it. But Will, we sell a ton of grand designs across America and we know we'd be able to get people a lot better sale price than that. Which when you think about that with how big this is and the um, generator and everything, it's not right. that bad. Right. But Will, if somebody wants a better price, tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes them to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, perfect. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself, and we will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if you just have generalized fan questions, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. There's one thing that every tab has in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Forgot that too, I think. Oh, I certainly did. We'll you continue. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, on right across from the couch is the entertainment kind of system. You got the blue uh, Bluetooth uh, radio player there. Yep. PCL TV. Nice. And a little more storage there. I think there's storage behind there. Okay. Yep. Nope. Bit, yeah. Nope. Not uh, storage. Not really. But it does swing out. Yep. That's nice. Okay. All right. Over here. And, and we forgot this. Yeah, you did. Con continue, Will. Show us. Okay. Strap down. Oh, oh, I like that though. It doesn't matter. You don't need to sit there. Okay. So one, we can move this, and big people can sit there because yes. they can move it all the way back. Also, that's a completely removable table. Is it? Yes. Oh, you're right. Yep. Very that's cool. cool feature. Yeah. I do like so that. You can bring the garage basically space all the way up to here. Yes. That's awesome. Yes. And they have the tie downs and everything. Yeah. What's going on right there? Right here got some storage up above and then your all your control panels right there okay that looks like an old english seat but it's not yeah, this it's is... it's a place for you to tie your shoe yep. maybe yeah i think so okay 
Um, and then you have a pan. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I knew that too. Um, you got a two-way nor cold refrigerator freezer right here. That runs off both propane and electric. Sure does. Speaker above there. Yep. Got some storage over here, right above the microwave. Yep. Which is a Furion, one of the smaller microwaves. So okay. right there, not a problem. A nice range hood here. Hood with range. Lights. I like this backsplash. It's not real tile or anything, but it looks nice. A little more modern. Three burner Furion cooktop with mm -hmm. the blue lights and an oven. Yes, sir. And a little bit of storage down below. Yep. Something we didn't even mention. Yeah. Look how oh, much yeah. headspace we'll have. Yep. It's designed like a toy hauler. It's or um, <laughs> like a fifth wheel toy hauler. Right. A little bit of storage up top here and here. Very nice. Coming down, you do have a nice window here to let in some nice natural light. Little spray faucet there. Uh, single bowl sink. I mean, these are not solid surface countertops. But you got some drawers here. And some storage. Oh, hey now. That's a $104 trash can. That's right. Very nice. And that's a ton of space under the it sink. It is, yep. And something else that I'm noticing. Uh -huh. I mean, there's a ton of power outlets here underneath, oh, right yeah. there. You know, they're really doing a great job with the power outlets. Right. Perfect. It's now time for the tall test. Okay. There is two entries to the bathroom. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so, how do you feel in there, Will? It's actually, it's really good. I like everything about it. I don't like this. So. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I was gonna say. That is a nice 30 by 36 shower. Yeah. It definitely would have failed if it wasn't for the high ceilings. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but that shower, yeah, we'd yeah. have to do something about that. <laughs> <laughs> we do got a medicine cabinet right here for all your medicines. A little sink. Okay. Oh, oh snap, Will. Yeah. I passed the shower test. Yep, bing. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, the nice little sink right there, and then it's now time for the toilet test. Okay. <sighs> Porcelain. Okay. You gotta shut the door though. No, no, no. For me, it's fine. Okay. I, I, I can 100% tell. Okay. I don't know for you. Okay. I do not know for you. For me, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Let's see if Will okay. can do it. It is porcelain. It's porcelain? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. It actually is good. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. Hey, do you want to do a ding where we put your face on my face? Sure. Ding! Very, very <laughs> weird and nice. And then there is two entries to the bathroom right there, to the yep. master bedroom. And then let's check that out. Master bedroom here, king size bed, okay? There is storage above the king size bed. And this king size bed does fold out for the slide out to come in. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of that in motor homes because then you can't use it, but nobody's gonna be back here while you're driving. Right. No big deal. We do have three windows right there. And then Will, show us what's going on up there. Okay. So right here, you just have a mirror with nice lighting all around it, which is nice. Um, little nice table or like counter space here, whatever you wanna call it, which is definitely nice. This can make like a nice makeup area or whatever. Um, you got some drawers here. Yep, yep and some storage underneath here. very nice a good amount of storage too okay and then right behind me got a little more storage very nice so cool. and a tv would hook up right there yep and there's that second ac well will that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's now time we give you three things we love about this toy hauler and three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. I'm going to go first. Okay. That area, it's very it's tight. It's very yeah. tight. Yeah. Hard to move, hard to get dressed. Like, you're definitely... Yeah, even if you flip up the bed, it's still very... The whole bedroom. It's very, very tight in this bedroom. Yeah. Oh, um, is there storage under that bed? It no. doesn't look like it. No. Uh, it's just very, very tight in this bedroom. And, and that's just... Well, when you get a travel trailer toy hauler, it's just part of the nature of the beast. That's right. I mean, it's already super long and heavy. Like, what are you yeah. going to do? Yeah. Just is what it is. 
So that's number one. Number two. Mine's outside. Did you just... Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. Tell us your number two. Okay. Oh, I'm following you? Yeah. All right, so I like that the um, left bay is closed. Yeah. But I wish it wasn't under the slide here. Really? Yeah, because it would be really hard to get under here all the time and deal with everything under this slide. Okay, okay. Especially since that's where your outside shower is, too. 10 yeah. 4? Yeah. So normally I'd say, not you're wrong, but normally I would disagree with you. But with that outdoor shower, especially with a toy hauler, yeah, I'm, I'm now agreeing with you because, you know, you're going to get muddy, you're going to get dirty, you're going to want to rinse off. So yeah, I, I see where you're coming from. You better agree with me. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then number three, we're going there because we always go there. These steps are trash. Yeah. Um. They're trash, you know, the solid steps are so good and great. You know what, though? I'm going to veto my own thing. Okay. You know why? Because it's a toy hauler? Yes, because you're not always going to be in a campsite. You're not always going to be in a level area. I'm, I apologize, America. Not to mention that it would take room from the inside where maybe you would need it here. Yes, you would To put something. Need it. You know what? I'm about to do the biggest contradiction in Matt's RV Reviews history. <laughs> so I have a third dislike. Okay. So number three, I'm going to say, you know, the TV's elevated a little high. A lot of the storage is high. This furniture isn't going to be super comfortable. Um, it's all the fold up, you know, which I like that it fo all folds up. But this isn't going to be a super comfortable RV. Uh, and it's because it has to be that way because of the garage part. Yep, a little bit of give and take. Yep, give and take for sure. Like, not saying it's not not comfortable, but it's not the Thomas Paine collection. I mean, <laughs> right. come on. Right. So that's three things we don't like about it. Well, now it's time for three things we love about this toy haul. And I'm going to go first. Okay. And the biggest contradiction in history of Matt's RV reviews, I had something as a dislike, and then 25 seconds later, no, that's a like. I like the fold up steps because right. as Will saying, um, the solid steps, they would flip up inside. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Take it away from your garage space. You're not always gonna be at a campsite. You're gonna be at unlevel areas, which these steps are actually a good thing on this unit. That's right. Unbelievable, unfreaking believable because 35 seconds earlier, that was my dislike. I know. That's crazy. crazy. So that's one thing we love about it. Will, number two. Okay, so I'm gonna, somewhat contradict what matt said but i'm also going to kind of combo it yes so i love the big garage area uh -huh. and, and where my contradiction comes in a little bit is that i do love how everything is removable and again yeah. like we said it's give and take yeah you know you're you can't get the thomas Paine collection and have it pulled up it's not comfortable but it's 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 um practical it's practical and it's like matt said it's not that it's uncomfortable it's just not you know it's not your tempur at home yeah yeah <laughs> But the um, fact that the table comes out, yeah, everything can come out for the garage. Everything can come out. You can push it one way or the other or take it out. Do whatever you need with it. They just give you that option. It's yeah, really nice. That, it is nice. So that's number two. And then number three, Will, do we save the size of the opening for the garage area? Do we go there? Yeah. Okay. Nice big power awning. Nice big windows. And the fact that this is going to be your whole garage area i mean look at this like it is going to be a pain in the butt to move everything but you could put two bikes in here oh yeah two golf carts in here you could do a lot of stuff in here and and it would get a lot of stuff done and it's pretty awesome that's right badass. well well let's step outside it's a beautiful day here. okay spring has sprung that's it that's the review that's the grand design momentum if you guys have any questions about this travel trailer toy hauler please Call us, text us, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell number. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. In a few seconds, if you're in the market for a travel trailer toy hauler, we're going to put its competitors right there and there for you to watch. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, this is going to be a, a higher end, a little more expensive unit, but it's built really, really well. Uh, definitely let us know down in the comments below three things you like, three things you dislike. 
make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe also um make sure to check out the link for my waggle down in the link or down off the link in the description below yes um again it's so so important to make sure that the you have a system like that to watch after your pets while you run out to dinner or to the grocery store whatever it may be yeah so that's it thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching and will we'll see you next time